the best thing. All right, let's, uh, before we get started, ask Don give an invocation. Lord, I thank you now for this privilege of standing before you. Thank you from the very bottom of my heart from Mother's Day yesterday. Yes, There's nothing better than a godly mother here to be the heartbeat of the home. Lord, as we look to you tonight, us always keep in mind that conduct this meeting with integrity, honest work, purity, and a common sense. All this is the type of things that please you as our Lord and Savior. Thank you again for this opportunity. Amen. 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 Uh, everybody arise. Pledge of allegiance. To the flag. Of the United States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Call this meeting to order. Uh, would you please call the roll? Um, the roll call tonight would be uh, um, Mayor Self. Here. Um, Myrtle Van Fleet. Here. Uh, Eugene Kiley. Here. Uh, Brenda Lowe. Here. Floyd Philpott. Here. Steve Brewer. Here. Everyone's present, Mayor. You have to Thank you. All right, once again, I'd like to welcome everybody for to our meeting. Uh, you're always welcome. And we would have muted the phones. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and uh, review the minutes from last month. <coughs> You want the reading of the minutes, Mayor? Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you. I can't hear you. can't see, so we're going to do that. Hey, we got my hearing aids in, so, you know, we're okay here. I'll speak up. <laughs> That's okay. I did hear you. Uh, uh, at the, the Mayor Arthur Self called call, or, call to order the regular meeting of the council at 7 p.m. on April the 8th, 2013, in the town hall. The clerk conducted a roll call. The following persons were present. Mayor Arthur Seth, Councilors Myrtle Van Cleek, Brenda Lowe, Floyd Philpott, Steve Brewer, Councilor Eugene Kiley was absent. The clerk read the minutes from the March 11th regular meeting. A motion was made by Brenda and seconded by Myrtle to approve the minutes. The minutes were approved as read. Financial reports. The clerk presented the financial reports and a motion was made by Floyd and seconded by Myrtle to accept the financial reports. Motion carried. Uh, the mayor open business, open issues. The mayor checked into the annexation of property at Brandonwood Drive. They will have to have all property owners to sign a petition in order for the town to accept by ordinance and not an election. Also, they need legal descriptions of each property owner. Land may be property tax card from the county. The clerk met with our district four commissioner, Mr. Gary Strickland, about helping us with some of the roads to see if Blount County can help us with some of our problem roads. He is going to check and see what the cost may be or if Blount County can help. The mayor had information from the Alabama League of Municipalities concerning two bills to be presented to the legislature. Uh, bill number 397 regarding business licenses have to be handled online by 2017. But the state has no money to offset the expense, so each city would have to pay to download this software at their expense. Please contact Scott Beeson uh, at 334-242-7794 to reject this bill. The other bill is number 400. It's trying to make the city's only charge five dollars for business licenses which is unacceptable to, unacceptable to most cities as most depend on this revenue complaints from residents of green acres about stray dogs and cats the clerk called blunt county sheriff's department which handles animal control all dogs and cats were properly taken care of but one person went to the pound and retrieved one of the dogs claiming it was his now it is his responsibility if it causes any problems 
A leadership award presented with presentation was made to Mrs. Sue Francis Calvert for services to the town of County Line in leading the fight against the proposed landfill. Adjournment. A motion was made by Steve and seconded by Floyd to adjourn the meeting at 7.45 p.m. Minutes submitted by Brenda Philpott Clerk. Any corrections? Do we have a motion to accept as read? I make a motion to accept. I accept. I second it. All in favor? in the two and seven account should be the one on top that you have. Mm -hmm. The road account is $8,584.81. And that's the one we pay our street lights and all that out of. Uh, the four, five, and six road account is $6,702.87. The general fund is $6,538.09. And it shows the bills, things that have been paid in April. And here we have a surprise. In the town of County Line Capital Improvements, we had a deposit from the Alabama Trust Fund of $6,797.23. We had a $65 balance, you remember? Mm -hmm. Now we have a $6,800. So we might be able to do some roof work. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it would cost. But that right. better than sixty-five dollars that the previous administration left us. Okay. Any comments or corrections to the financial reports? Question. Do we have a motion to accept? I make a, go ahead. I make a motion that we accept. Then it's read. I'll I'll second. All, right. All in favor? Yes. Brendan, have we heard anything else from Commissioner Strickland? Strickland? No, sir, I haven't. I tried to call his office one day, but I haven't talked to him, but I will get back on top of it and see if I can't. I did get the Blunt County in this week, and it had his picture on the front page of the Blunt County and where he'd been working on uh, some oh, bridges yeah. and things. But I come to find out, someone told me that was on his property. So <laughs> I don't know. I don't know all these people, you know, that, <laughs> and everybody's relatives and all that. So, well, uh, but I'll get back with him. Yeah. To. I, I uh, gave Steve the uh, estimate from. Uh, Mr. Guthrie? Yeah, Curtis. What was his name again? Curtis Guthrie. Curtis, yeah. Anyway, uh, for him to follow up with. But uh, if we don't hear anything back from the commissioner, uh, I'd say in the next seven days, we need to do something with that hole on Smith Mill. Okay. Um, excuse me. Uh, Eugene said he's saying the county truck down there. Patching them holes. No, it was Lucy. It was Lucy. Yeah, I, oh, Lucy yeah. I just noticed it had been done. There's been a bunch of patching on Smith Mill. Oh, really? On Smith Mill? Yeah. And well, it was I a county truck? Did they fix it? Yeah. 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 It was a county truck. Yeah. Well, I wonder if he got, but he didn't do the calvert. I mean, the calvert. The culvert? He didn't do the culvert, no. But he got the. Well, why didn't he go down Dean's Ferry if he's going to go oh, anywhere? No. I don't know. Jim went down Dean's Ferry. Blunt County, County is yeah. not going to go down that hole. Um, they've moved the, Malcolm said they that they moved the property line about 250 feet further up toward County Line. And this way? 
no, no. toward county line. Oh. So that means that those holes that are there are not, they're not going to touch them. Hmm. Well, that's uh, something we need to look at. But I, I wasn't aware of any repairs down there, but I'll take a look at it yeah. and see. You know, we need to. Well, I can't go there today. Well, I see, I didn't ever, I never found the hole. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. yeah, it was uh, substantial. Mm -hmm. If you saw it, you, I would, you would know it. it. Well, you okay. said it was on the edge. Yeah. Didn't you? But I was down there by myself, and I really didn't want to get out and walk around over no. in there. No. So um, I just, I thought, well, if I can see it, I will, but I, yeah, I didn't see that's it. That's fine. Okay. All right. I'll, uh, I'll look at that, and you know, we'll take a look at it. See. Right. Well, I'll call. Mr. Strickland, I'll call him tomorrow. Okay, because if it's if it's been repaired and he's done it, <laughs> thank <Wonderful>. you, sir. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you. But we need more than that. Well, I mean, it's <clears throat> that's just that's a good that start. That saves us, that saves us, you know, quite a bit of money up. Right. Just for that sinkhole, but that's right. I was afraid of that thing. So, Park County is the one that did that. It appears to, it appears appears to be that it was them. Yes. Well, I don't think it would be Jefferson County. It was a little and I, we have not contracted with anybody to do it. Uh -uh. So Somebody with a bobcat? Bob, bobtail truck. You know, a single axle dump truck had the little, um, you know, the extension on the back like they use like they use for when they're dumping asphalt. It was, it was not like a regular tailgate type truck. Mm -hmm. And it had a little white emblem thing on the door. And I was seeing it. When I saw it, Jean come in. I saw it that day, and Jean come in and said, there was some hatching down there. And I said, well, that's where that truck was going. Okay. And so well, we'll, we great. We'll check it out and, and see. Yeah. Uh, that'd be good if, if the patching has been done down there. It'll save us some money. <clears throat> but uh, anyway, we'll contact this other gentleman and uh, uh, we've already been around and gotten one estimate. We just need to find out what his estimate actually covers. Uh, patching the roads and county lines is a broad picture. Yeah. We need to find out. But at least the weather is getting to where, you know, it's it, time it to could do possibly it. be done now without yeah. it just being destroyed. <clears throat> it is time now. So, anyway, we'll uh, pursue that. But yeah, if uh, I'll go over and take a look at that, and I'll get back with you, Brenda, okay. on whether or not and how right. we uh, let me know what okay. we need to do in contacting Commissioner Scripps. All right, if you go look at it this evening or whatever, then you let me know as soon as you do, and then I'll call him. Okay. So, or you can call him. I've got his card in there. Well, I need to make contact with him. You probably do anyway. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'll get the number from him. Okay. All right. Uh, any other comments or questions about? We just roads? need to get it done. Something on Cod Brazil and something on Dean's Ferry. We just need them done. Yep. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> All right. Uh, reports are special committees. None? No. Nope. Reports of officers? None. Reading of petitions, applications? Compliance appeals or communications? Well, I have no communications, but I do have a request from a person that lives on the county line road that has children and grandchildren. And she just wanted to know what would have to be done to get maybe a sign from the town or county or something to say, slow down children at play or something like that. And, and it was this lady over here. And she said that she's afraid for her grandchildren because, you know, they're young. And she said, and the cars just fly. And I said, well, we realize that. I mean, I do, just being up here, that they, they fly. They use this as a racetrack up here. So I just told her I would bring it before the council tonight. She came over here today. And, and uh, she said, my grandkids do go over to the park. And, and she said, and I can't let them go. And I said, well, no, you shouldn't dare let them go across the road by themselves. You, know? no. but you just have to stay with them. So. Well, uh, we can uh, investigate, see what the cost of the sign would be. Mm -hmm. But uh, I, don't know. I don't know that it would make a whole lot of difference. I don't know. Because <clears throat> nobody pays attention to the speed limit like signs right. now. 
even in our neighborhood, they don't pay attention no. to the. Some of them do, and some of them just come flying through, you know. And, and so, it uh, it would be. Oh, that's basically we'll what I told look them. At it, see. We'll I have told to look them at it that experience. we would see what we could do, but I doubt very seriously if it would cause anybody to slow down on the roads. And I know those trucks that come through from WC, they don't slow down for anybody. So, you know, much less a child, they don't slow down for a truck. I mean, a vehicle. The only way we'd be able to get them to slow down out of here is to put a six inch speed bump. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you could um, dig out the road and make it like cobblestone. <laughs> 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 <Yeah. laughs> no. We could put a dip <laughs> like from the bump of free <laughs> going to have to put some holes in there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that, that would do us. That would, that slow that down, would do it, but yes. uh, yeah, we'll have to. Yeah, especially that find that another moment. solution. Yeah, we better do that before somebody drops the bottom of their car out. Okay. All right, I have a bit of new business. Uh, everybody should have a copy on the council. Uh, as you all know, our revenues this year are drastically less than what we received last year from business licenses in general. Uh, we are going to be hard pressed to keep all the lights on through the end of the year with what we have in the bank accounts today. Uh, we can cut expenses here and there, but overall we're still going to, it's going to, it's going to be tight the rest of the year. So I am uh, proposing to introduce this ordinance, which would be, which would add a federal loan tax to the town of County Line landowners, property owners. According to state law, uh, we are allowed to impose a five mil tax on property by just a vote of the council. Anything greater than that, then it would have to be voted on by the residents. Five mil equates to fifty dollars per one hundred thousand dollars of value. And if what it would increase property taxes per year. Uh, I wanted to introduce 50 it. Fifty per one hundred thousand. Fifty per one hundred thousand. Okay. This is an option of generating some income for the town. Uh, how much of an how much it would generate? I really don't know. I've not been able to pull up any uh, figures to to give an estimate. But uh, you know, if it raises four or five thousand dollars, it would certainly help the town out. As it is right now, our residents don't uh, contribute anything to the coffers of the town. It's strictly uh, business license taxes, and that's it. And a little bit of road money we get from the gasoline tax. So I just wanted to introduce this tonight. Uh, I don't, uh, I really don't want to vote on it tonight, but I want everybody to have an opportunity to read through it and, uh, you know, find out and determine how you feel about it. But we've got to have some some way of raising additional revenue. Well, my question is how how will we go about um, presenting it and yeah and doing it and collecting we, it and all that? We would not collect uh, if we're going to uh, 
vote for this, we need to do it in the next month or two. Right. I so that we can uh, take whatever steps are necessary to notify Blount County and Jefferson County. Okay. Uh, so that they will make the appropriate calculations when they uh, send out the, the tax notices. Tax. Okay. Tax. So it will be collected by either Jefferson County or, or Blount, Blount County. County. Okay. They they will receive or they will retain a portion of the money collected as a service fee for collecting it and then give us the rest. Okay. All right. That was just my question how we would go about doing that. So we let them, okay. And then they tell you the tax assessor does the value of the property. So. Correct. Okay. So, you know, we're, we just have to let them know that, you know, we're going to collect that. Started. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, any other questions on it? And I'd like to know what <laughs> our uh, attendees here uh, think of this. I mean, I, I'm the last person on earth that wants to raise anybody's taxes. Uh, I think we're taxed enough as it is. But if we want to do anything in the town and have a uh, steady stream of revenue that we can count on year to year. Well, if you want the roads fixed and you want stuff done, you got to have the money. Yeah, that's right. And it's, it's a, like I said, I don't, so not to really do anything that I want to do, but uh, just like you said, if we're going to Having money to repair roads, which we desperately need to do, mm -hmm. uh, or if we want to even help subsidize our fire coverage yeah. and make any donations, uh, it uh, we don't have the money to do that. So anyway, please uh, mull it over, digest it, think about it, and. Uh, would uh, like to table it? Would you like me to uh, make some copies and give to everybody to, to look at, to study, think if about it? If they want to copy, copy. Uh, by all means. Uh, or if you have an email address, give it to uh, Brenda and, and uh, I'll email it. Um, well, I'll, you know, I can go in there and make some copies of it if anybody wants. Okay. But I, so we're going to table it until. At least next meeting. Yes, if that's the motion. Yeah, make the motion with the next meeting. I second. Okay, go ahead. All in favor? You second. You second. Oh, okay. All right. All in favor? All right. All right. Um, Anybody in the council have any additional business? Have you been in contact with the people down there at Brandon Wood? I have not this, this month. I haven't talked to them. Uh, but I, I haven't had a chance to. Yeah. I just, uh, I gathered the information together uh, on what it would take, but I haven't uh, had, any, had any other contact with them. And they haven't come back. I mean, they haven't, you know, been to check on anything either. They haven't talked to you, have they, Luke? No, no, I have. I've been busy. Since, well, since they were here, though, they've not. No, not. not. <clears throat> All right. Uh, we have no more business here. Uh, public comments? Questions? On the proposed tax, would you be able to collect that for the full year since you're voting on it? It would, it would go into effect uh, with the next cycle. And so you wouldn't really raise any money this year? Right, right. Okay. No, it would take a while to get that started. So it would uh, start in January, I mean December when we pay the taxes your, for pay your 2013. property taxes. Yeah. yeah. So it'll be the first of the year, a little after before you got anything. Yeah. yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. But considering that we do not have that much business in the town and county line, 
our business license income is not that great. And Alabama Power. Where do you get the people that's got businesses here in town to pay their? To pay what they to owe. To pay what they owe. But I, unfortunately, we haven't been able to do that yet, but we're still trying. Well, isn't there a, like a 2% tax that was passed for county line? That's never been enforced. There was something that I found in there. Of course, you know the paperwork that I found is not too good. But there was something about a two percent levy, a two percent sales tax. There was a two percent sales tax uh -huh. enacted uh, this past year. But, but we had to have retail establishments right. to collect. And if you don't have any retail business, okay. you don't have any sales tax. Yeah. So, so no. you have a retail business. Who? Where? Alabama Tractor. Well, <laughs> uh, we're just trying to get a, a business license paid for some people, but that wouldn't yeah. go into that. That's, uh, but we're still working on it. All right. All right. Any other uh, questions or comments? Yes. Mayor, I would just like to see, uh, you know, the people that are doing business should buy a license. And that's just the right thing to do. And I would like to see the people that do not buy the license, um, you know, um, something done because uh, the town is in dire straits. And uh, I don't know, I think, I think it's a joke. But it's, you know, it's, 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 it's serious. And uh, I would just like to encourage the council to pursue those business licenses. Well, we are doing that. We are pursuing those business licenses as much as we can, and then I know that we might have to take it another step further yes, to a legal thing, so I don't exactly know. I know there's a levy. Is. You can levy. Yeah. So taxes. the you know I don't know what the next step is. I've sent okay. out past dues, and so we're looking at the next step. Okay. Okay. Are we charging past due fees? Well, we haven't yet because we haven't heard from them. But when we do, you know, I don't know. If I can just get a business license fee out of them, I'll see about, you know, but I don't know how I can assess a penalty when I can't even get, get them to respond to the business license. There should be something legally that you can do. But well, I mean, can the lead of municipality attorneys handle this for us? I'd go ahead and send the district them out attorney a legal letter to the attorneys and sock it to them. I mean, it's been since what the first of January. This is yeah, they the and they're delinquent January. after the end of March, so they're all delinquent. The ones that haven't paid, so they're totally delinquent in April. And so, um, well, we're going to have to <clears throat> investigate to see what the next yeah. uh, step is for us. And I don't know what the legal municipalities, we don't know the cost of the attorneys there, but they probably would, could help us somewhat to tell us something. But we'll check into it. Mm. Are those attorneys free? I, mm. I thought they were. I think they are free. Well, I don't think so. Town. And they're. Uh, not always. No, not not the not always. I think some of the other stuff, the insurance stuff and all that, it might be, but legally, I don't think it is. Okay. But we'll uh, check. There's something you know, we need to... The mayor and myself are both going to be checking on it, so... All right. Any other questions, comments? Do we have a motion to adjourn? I make the motion. <laughs> I'll second it. <laughs> All right. You don't Be have any trouble with a motion for to adjourn.